everyone, it's Froggy, and I'm back again with another episode of Backstage Pass. So let's check our mail. We have nothing. Ooh, let's talk about bugs. Um, okay, so what's the new one here? Okay, okay guys, I need your help, and now that I'm done with Plain Toast, I need a new series to read. Is the Athena's Ward trilogy any good? The first book is a little rough, but for a debut novel, I can't fault it too much. Once you get to the second book, though, it really picks up steam. Well worth the read. Good to know. And nothing here. Okay, um, let's bake cupcakes. So what do I got? Banana cake, red velvet, angel food cake, again, yellow cake and chocolate. Okay, let's try yellow. Frosting, let's do apple maybe. And Straw strawberry? I I don't know if this is gonna work, but we'll see. Uh oh. Okay, I'm not entirely sure what should go with the yellow cake. Whipped cream, chocolate frosting, and strawberries. No. Okay, yellow cake. Let's try chocolate frosting again. Coconut. Hmm. Uh, no, wait, wait, yeah, yellow cake. Let's try the apple again. Cause cream cheese is for the red velvet. Peanut butter is for the king, which was the banana one. There's chocolate frosting, which I don't think I've really done anything with. Whipped cream, applesauce. So applesauce is the only one that I haven't really done anything with. Bacon? Did I try this already? I don't know. No, apples and that doesn't make any sense to me. Okay, I don't like this. Get, let's go back to chocolate for a sec. Sprinkles? Ooh, there we go. It's a nice one. It's a birthday cake. It's simple but practical. Save for later. Okay. Uh, our fatigue is. Eh. My grades are two point eight. It's not bad. Okay, so we're gonna work, sleep, work, work, and study. So I want to get my work high, so that way I can win that award. Hey, girly. Interested in our lottery today? Yes. Hand Rachel a dollar and she adds mine to the bucket. All right, kiddos. This week's lucky winner is... I swear to God. Kevin, lucky punk. <laughs> it's not us. Sleep. Fall on face. Not good. Not great. Definitely gonna have to sleep this weekend. Hey, honey. Your father and I are just calling to check up on you. What are your plans for the summer? You gonna kick back and relax? Actually, I've decided to take summer classes. Studying through the summer as well? We've always been proud of how well you did in school, but shouldn't you take a break? I enjoy it. Plus, the summer courses are cheaper, so it's a load off of them financially. But I don't think I'll say that part out loud. Anyway, we're sure you're busy, so we won't keep you. But do consider coming home to see us sometime. Of course. Love you too. Bye. Love you. Alright, we're gonna sleep this weekend. Sometimes it's nice to just sleep in all day long. Oh, I forgot to check our mail. Shoot. Well, whatever. Sleeping again. Tutoring. Work. We'll do a blog. More work. No, wait. And then we'll sleep again. And then work. And then... Exercise. 
<laughs> Butterfly! Any questions for today? Could you look over my homework for answers for me? Mm, looks fine to me. You're on the right track. So beautiful. Ooh, not a good day on the blog. All right. Tonight's the night of the award show. Feeling really nervous about it. I don't feel like I'd fit in with all those celebrities. Thankfully, I just received a package from Lloyd and John. It's a designer dress that I'm fairly certain costs about as much as my tuition. Sadly, I still have no car, so it's the bus for me. Hey, buses and limos are both long vehicles. It's totally cool, right? Wow. I take a deep breath before entering the concert hall. Looking at the crowd here, I'm pretty sure I'm the only guest here who arrived via public transportation. At the front door, I see reporters pressing in against the red carpet, all grasping for a chance to interview a celebrity. Thankfully, I was smart enough to sneak in through the side entrance. You look elegant tonight. Ooh, you look handsome! Says the guy in the suit and bow tie. John adjusts his bow tie with an air of curiosity. Lloyd insists it's cool. Speaking of Lloyd, where is he? Present and accounted for. Ooh, so handsome. And you look great, Sean. I knew that dress would suit you. Didn't I say that dress would suit her? Yes, yes, you're very smart. <laughs> that is correct. Shall we find our seats then? Ooh, I'm so excited. Lloyd claps me on the shoulder. Maybe Sean will win an award for makeup. I think that's a little too much to hope for. You never know. The music starts up and the three of us find a place to sit. The Master of Ceremonies tells a few appropriate jokes before launching into the awards. One after another, awards are handed out. Finally, the makeup category comes up. And the award for best makeup goes to... Snickerdoodle King for his work on Corpses Among the Stars! I forgot Snickerdoodle King was a person, and his name is just so dumb, but I love it. The audience applauds, and I do my best not to look too disappointed. Snickerdoodle King is an industry veteran, and he deserves this. I can't help but feel a little disappointed, though. The awards continue until the MC announces the category we've all been waiting for. And the award for Best Television Drama goes to... Vice Versa! Woo! What? Lloyd lets out an inhumanely high-pierced screech before turning to John and embracing him in a hug that appears to be slowly compressing all of the air out of him. The cameras train on the two of them, and the audience cheers at the sight of them projected onto the monitor above us. Lloyd finally releases John from his grasp, and the two head up on stage to accept their prize. Aw, good for them! <laughs> as soon as they approach the podium, Lloyd snatches the golden statue from the presenter's hands. John sighs and shakes his head. A wave of appropriate laughter ripples through the audience at the sight of the two men's antics. Lloyd looks down at the statue and smiles. Wow, uh, this is... Wow. What Lloyd is trying to say is neither of us wrote an acceptance speech. But we totally accept. And we'd like to thank everyone who made this possible. Yes, to the amazing cast and crew of Vice Versus, thank you so much for making this dream a reality. We owe it all to you. And special thanks to a certain little wizard who helped make this all possible. I feel a slight flush creep up my face. They're thanking me? Anyway, Lloyd here could keep going all night. But John says I should be good, so we'll keep it concise and just say thank you. Thank you! <laughs> the rest of the ceremony passes quickly and we exchange farewells before parting ways. The internet looks pretty excited about the Golden Television Awards. 
Looks like I even got a bit of a popularity boost from Vice Versus' win. Uh, score, I guess. Alright, let's see here. I'm gonna actually check my mail. Why am I not getting any jobs? Ah, uh, Vice Versus just won a golden television... Drum... Vice Versus just won a golden television for best drama. How cool is that? It totally deserves it. It's the, that's really cool. Yeah, I adore this series and I wish it were more than three books long. I heard rumors that they're going to turn it into a movie sometime. Really, I hope that's true because I totally want to see the magician on screen. Swoon. Um, okay, let's call Nicole. Hi, hi. What's going on? Hey, Nicole, do you want to hang out today? Sounds like a blast. Where to? Uh, we could go back to the arcade. Is VG Zone okay with you? Cool, I'll see you there. Uh, sweet. Should I bring a cupcake to Nicole? Why, yes, I think we should. Uh, this one. I hope Nicole likes this. Me too. Um, yeah, we're all right with this. Hey there. I brought you a cupcake today. It's nothing too fancy, just yellow cake with chocolate frosting and sprinkles. What's with the candle? It's supposed to be like a birthday cake. That sounds nice. I've never had one before. Seriously? Eh, you know. Which game are we trying today? Let's go back to Zombie Hunter. She liked that one last time. Zombie Hunter 3? Oh, I like that one! <laughs> Nicole grabs the gun and immediately takes her place. It's hard to keep up with her reckless style of play, but I managed to keep pace for the most part. Thanks for today. That was cool. No problem. Thanks for coming with me. Alright, well, I'm going to go ahead and end this episode here for today. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you want to see more videos from me, then don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.